from the outside, everything is the words AI yeah. and in the cloud, but there's a lot of AI that's not here yet. It, people are just talking about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, so I'm probably the worst person to talk to about AI Me because uh, the only thing that I've heard, which isn't even AI based, that anyone has been remotely excited about is Adobe's uh, text to speech. Yes. And uh, that's not really AI based. You know, I think the question that I have about some of the AI stuff, and I think the question that everyone who's talking about AI should be forced to answer is specifically what problem do we think it's going to solve in video? Because if it solves a pain point, I'm listening. If it's a solution without a problem, then it's just marketing. And I've seen that with 3D, I've seen that with VR, I've seen that endlessly. We're like, hey, there's this new thing I'm supposed to be amazed by. Right. And uh, then I'm like, all right, well, how am I supposed to use it? What am I gonna do with it? And then it gets very quiet or it gets very expensive. Or it'll be out in six months. Yeah. So it never shows up. I'm, as I've done this longer, I've become more skeptical to wait until something is actually really, really cool. Right. And putting in putting it into a workflow before I get excited. Right. I agree 100%. That's what I'm saying. That AI, AI, I, I interviewed uh, Jim Tierney from Digital Anarchy yesterday, yeah. and he has a new version of Beauty Box. Yeah. And he said, well, we, I said, what about AI? He goes, well, we sprinkled a little bit on it, because so, it's the newest buzzword. We just sprinkled yeah. a little bit of AI on it, <laughs> which is pretty accurate. It's, it's probably just, that's pretty, that's what everyone's doing. It's yeah. like a spice. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give it a little, so we can say we have AI, but it's yeah. not really. Yeah, it's, uh, I do think AI is extremely powerful. Chat GPT, incredibly useful for many people and will only become increasingly more useful. And I do see a lot of applications for AI to automate really dumb things that people shouldn't be doing right. anyway. Right. So it's going to be used, but I don't, what I haven't seen in, least on the video side, is an elegant use for it. Right, I agree with you. I agree with you, other than it's transcription. What about the, uh, the transcription, is that? No, actually, you're right. Uh, I did see something fairly cool. With tra transcription, that problem is now solved. With AI. Know? Yeah, I mean, that's the, that is a very good use case for it. Um, and it's something no one wanted to do anyway. It was something that was way too costly uh, and so I think actually transcriptions, a phenomenal use for AI. Yes, yes. And then if you can extend that the way Adobe has, from what I understand, where you can select the text and it selects the portion of the video, like Lumberjack Systems does. Yeah, I mean, all of that stuff. You know, I think what we're gonna need to be a little bit careful about, it's, it's a double-edged sword. On the one hand, uh, all of that stuff is great. And being able to search that way is something that, like, it's one of the reasons I always love Final Cut, because it's sure. simplified search and it sure. allows you to find things easier. And I think it's only going to increasingly become better. But I do think that some of this stuff is making us lazier. Of course. So I don't know that we're really leveling up. You know, I mean, for documentary filmmaking, it's great. Uh, for... Um, narrative filmmaking, I think it's making... It's only exponentially increasing your options, which is the laziest choice you can do as a narrative filmmaker. Right. I know what you mean. And, and now they're doing AI-generated actors with voices and stuff. So this is really... Annoying. Now we're going to get deep, but yeah. like my question is, at a certain point, why is anyone going to watch any of this content? Like, is any of this actually... Like, none of it has a soul. Right. You know, well, like... That, that's, a good, that's a good word to use... Sam, a soul. Because so, AI doesn't have a soul. For me, I'm like, you could replace all the actors in the world, but it's still going to be another blockbuster that I don't want to watch, and I already don't watch, and there's already too many of. So do we need more of those? What problem is this solving? I don't care. You know, I'm just like, oh, another thing for me to not watch on Netflix. Like, that's where I'm pretty much at. <laughs> <laughs> Between Netflix, Apple TV+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Hulu, if you're going to do something inspiring, that sounds great. I want to see that. But I doubt there's going to be much inspiration when you remove humanity from the project you're making. That's another good word, humanity. 
Soul and humanity are two good words when it comes to your projects versus AI. AI for the boring stuff, like you said. I, it's when people look at it as a way to render art meaningless and remove anything interesting out of something, for me, that is a race to the bottom. And they're going to do it, but I don't think it will work because it will not be interesting for an audience. Right. Now, are you familiar with, I know that Premiere came out with the text-based editing and searching and all that. And Blackmagic also did something similar in 18.5 beta, I heard. They have some kind of a text-based, I don't know if it's just transcriptions at this, at this point. Have you seen that at all? Eight, and it's a new beta, 18.5. I haven't actually even had, I saw they put it out. I okay. haven't had any time to even look at the release notes, to play okay. with it. So what is, what's in there? Like it's, it's, it's some kind of a text transcription, mm -hmm. and people said it's just like, you know, you can also select the text and it'll select the video with Black Magic. I know Adobe has it, Yeah. but Black Magic came out 18.5 beta that also has something like yeah. that. So that, that both of them have it, 